If it's pretty chill, Spoop, I might look into it, actually. That's what I want. I just want something chill to run. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let me have a look. Hmm. Yeah, um... Harry Potter. I've done, um, yeah, LA any percent for, for lols. <laughs> if you pick up Harry Potter, you'll race? Hell yeah. Oh, they actually split them into different games. They actually split, like, the different versions there are different games? Okay. Because I just instinctively went to PS1 and I was like, oh, that's the one I remember playing as a kid. But more specifically, Chamber of Secrets on the PS1. I played the PS1 version of that. But, yeah, okay, that's a PC. It's only like an hour, okay. Any percent full video by, by your boy TK. <laughs> oh, I love you, TK. Let's go. An hour 40 tutorial. Okay. This seems like something I could look into. Heck, I remember having a blast with this game. Like, obviously, not the PC version, but. And the GameCube is different too. Right, right. Okay. Okay, you got me thinking. He did, Spook. Like, I knew TK from, like, OOT. And then I just remember he just picked up Harry Potter and then... Just started... Yeah, that's it! I remember him and Alien were, like, running it for, like, lols, and then they were like, wait a minute. There's actually, like, a lot of potential for this game. <laughs> I was like, wow, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought something that starts as, like, a complete joke just ends up becoming, like, one of the best things ever? That's why you never know, guys. That's why you legit never know what will happen. Alright, Spoop, you've convinced me. I'll look into it. I don't know how seriously I'll take it, of course, but it's it's cool to know that there's like something to look into. And, and I like what you said as well, Spoop, about like how it can be as easy or as difficult as you want it to be. I really like speed runs like that, where it allows you the option of like going for easy stuff at the beginning. And then when you're feeling a bit more confident, going for like harder shit. Cause like the, the, the type of speed runs that I'm not too fond of are the ones that like only have like one or two options for like tricks at certain points. And they could be really, really difficult to master. Because like those types of runs, at least for me, become very demoralizing because I'm not getting any runs finished or like my um my success rate with the runs is like stupidly low oh i just realized something spoop just like i'm just i got the leaderboards open harry potter and the chamber of secrets secrets wow what am i on my fud now uh harry potter and the chamber of secrets there's only like half an hour and also there's a tutorial for it as well i might look into that maybe if it was only half an hour, I'd be pretty keen to look into it. That's short. Yes, exactly, Spoob. No, I am, and like old any percent were like some of the best runs you could do, I reckon, starting out with OOT. I'd argue, no, I am probably had. Uh, at the time, you start like Vine, yeah, like Vine Clip and shit. But yeah. Like, in any, like, you know, both of those categories have, like, like, a trick that you have to learn. There's easier setups for them, but you have to learn them. Like, with old No I Am, it was, like, Vine Clip. Check out both? Okay.
Thanks, man. But like, yeah, I remember like with No I Am, like it had a really, really nice progression. Like, you know, if you didn't want to do Spirit Hover, just go through Spirit Temple normally. At the time, Boat Skip wasn't a thing, but now even like if you don't want to do Boat Skip, uh, go through Shadow normally. Having said that though, the new Boat Skip or the revised Boat Skip is like piss easy. The only hard thing about the new Boat Skip is traversing through the unloaded room. Oh, I guess, like, for a beginner, that, like, they'd have to also learn BK Skip, which I guess doing that blind might be a little bit hard. Oh, thanks, Spoof. I'll definitely look into them. Like, I'm leaning more towards Chamber of Secrets, only because it's short, but... So... Chamber of Secrets is more movement based, whereas I assume, uh, whereas I assume Philosopher's Stone is more like trick based. Or is it still heavy on movement? It's just not as busted as um, Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, no worries, Harris. All good, buddy. Get some yummy food. I'll catch ya. Trolls, gotcha, gotcha, spook. Chamber is busted, super busted trick wise, it's just a lot more compact. Gotcha, gotcha, that makes sense. Ah, good old tank controls. My my, when I heard that was coming. Which arcade's getting my my? Uh, Sakif, is it capital? Or is it like one of the, the time zones? Park. Remind me again, Sakif, which one's my, which rhythm game is my mind? There's so many of them that sometimes I lose track of which one's which. I just want one of the other, like, KAC type of ones, like Poppin. <laughs> I'm so jealous that Martin has his own Poppin machine to play on. Out of all of the rhythm games besides DDR, Poppin is the one that I really want to try the most. Brightness boosting, huh? You'd argue H, 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 H Harry Potter one's more linear though? Okay, okay. I suppose the linearity might be good if you're starting out, right? Just kind of easy to follow. Oh, the washing machine one. Yeah, it looks, it, it reminds me of Voltex and 2DX in the sense that there's a bit of free form to it. Like, you have, like, there's no real one way to execute something, but there's, like, you know, better ways than others. I love watching players like Tatsu play it on, like, uh, like, online, like, on YouTube. But I, I'm thinking of picking up a Yuan con controller, Sakif. Yeah, hell yeah, congrats, man. And Sakif, would you say... If you could go back and change your order, would you have gotten the Sanwa buttons, or you, you like the, the plastic Chinese buttons? Nah, defaults feel good enough. Okay. Just wondering. 
How long did it take to get here, Sakif? I'm really, I'm actually really excited to play more Voltex. I haven't played since the day I went to Capital to check out um, when when 2DX dropped as well. Oh, okay. Thanks, Spook. Thanks, man. That actually helps a lot. Hmm. Give me something to think about, Spook. You aren't con knobs for better than the arcade, to be honest. Yeah? Okay. And I think I may have asked you this before, Sakeef, but apologies if I have. Did you get the... With the Omron... Did you get 2-5 or 4-9? I think you told me, was it 4-9 from memory? Four nine. Hey Trip, what's up man? Ah, oh, you're too kind, buddy. Oh, when I'm when I'm back in action again, like after this period trip, we gotta get coffee again. Hopefully I'm still within an area that's like cl like close for both of us. Even if not, we can have lunch or something before you start a shift. This spread looks... Oh my gosh. Two dive incoming. Okay. <sighs> oh, if you lived in Sydney, Habs, you'd, you'd know we'd ask you. Maybe I'll start having lunch. Wait, Quills is up in Queensland now? Really? <laughs> Imagine if you said that on like State of Origin night. <laughs> oh my gosh, have a uh, trip. You said on State of Origin night, it's just like getting, like asking to get like murdered. It takes like almost an hour, right, uh, Spook? Or more than an hour to get from Penrith to the city. I know it's about half an hour from Parramatta to Penrith. And it's about 35 minutes from Parramatta to the city if you get an express train. So I guess an hour from Penrith? Because I know a lot of, like, the, the, some people I used to work with, one of them commuted from Penrith every day to get into the city. I feel like we need a gun emote as well. Rudo gun. Look, Mi Mi Mikami gun. And this is Rudo holding a gun. Mikami ayaya. So we need Rudo in IAR and we need Rudo with a gun. Okay, I will I'll look into it. Now that I'm kind of getting more into art, maybe I'll experiment with it. Not like um not gonna be like crazy good at it. I'm just finding it very therapeutic each night before I go to bed to draw something or work on like a fundamental. What if she's holding a gun while vibrating? Oh, jeez. Good old Vibruto. Nah, now, now. Fair, fair. Oh, the trains you get from Penrith, like, every stop. Oh my goodness! I'll, I'll tell you now, Trip. The having a slightly shorter commute it, it makes a lot of difference. Or even if it's not a shorter commute, but a more convenient commute, that also helps. Like when I was living in Inner West Sydney, 
Um, the train I caught to get into work, it was an all stops train. Even though I live out further west now, um, it's an express train every morning to get into work. So, ironically, it takes the same amount of time. <laughs> but it's way more convenient. Knowing that I don't have to stop at every fucking stop. Oh hell yeah. Let's go, Trip. I need to put up... Um, I've got this sound dampening foam. I need to put it up in the corners of this wall here, I reckon, at some point. Um, wait. Wait. Because I'm like complete noob when it comes to this sort of stuff. Where are you meant to put like sound dampening foam? Are you meant to put it into like a section where you're gonna like if like are you gonna should you put it against like the wall you're talking against or behind you? Like what's or does it just vary depending on like the setup you've got and what you're trying to achieve? Oops, too far left. You just kind of want it around. Gotcha. Because I know as soon as I moved up to Sydney, um, I noticed that because I was talking into like a corner, um, when I look at my stream replays, especially now that I've got my mic like mounted on an arm, there is a bit of like an echo. It's not like super severe. Where it, like it completely like changes like the stream feel, but it's something I noticed. Hey, Van Allen. Uh, it's, 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 it's had its moments. For me, personally, it's just been really smoky at times, but it could be a lot worse. It will look prettier. <laughs> it's okay, we're still on a decent pace. All my time save is at the end. I just gotta get through... I just gotta get to DC. And not, I was gonna get to DC without losing too much time, and all my time save is in like the last split. Last two splits, I think, is where all my time saves are. So, if we can get to there slightly ahead or even dead even, uh, and I can nail those two splits, where um, I think we're good for a non meme PB. Can't believe I blew a, like a 20 second lead and only PB by a second. Good meme.jpg. That was probably an indication that I should have put the category down at that point. <laughs> but I was just like, oh, let's keep going and see what the hell happens. He's <laughs> living the hawk spree. Oh my goodness, Spook. Oh, stops the black town. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Sometimes we get the Pog Champ ledge. I call the Pog Champ ledge because you um you, you jump that gap and then you immediately grab that ledge. I don't know, there's probably like a very specific range of angles that you have to do that work for it, but yeah, the Pog Champ ledge. Doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's for lack of a better word, poggers. <laughs> you snag it and you're like pog. Yeah, sometimes I say Pog. Especially when I'm around like Twitch people, like Aggie. Like when I see something, I'm like, oh, it's pretty Poggers. Around like randos or like non Twitch people, I won't. Or like if I catch myself about to say it, I'll just be like, oh, nice. I have said Kappa in real life before to like. People who don't aren't Twitch people. It's just like complete instinct. 
when I was like deep into Twitch and like streaming almost every day, I remember I used to just sometimes drop Kappa. And they'd be like, oh, what's Kappa? And I'm like, oh, um, Greek, le Greek letter. That's what Kappa is. Alright, only last half a second. Like, have a look at this, guys. Not much time in Deku Tree. We got four seconds of bombs, 11 seconds of DC, and like four seconds there. So if I can nail that DC split without losing too much time going into it, uh, we have a chance. Um, I've also had trouble getting ISG off the baby Dodongos. So what I might do instead is... If I fail ISG once against them, kill them, and then get ISG off a bomb. But I, I can't keep losing time to that section. That's why I lost 11 seconds there. And then 4 seconds because I screwed up one super slide. So... There's still a chance we can PB. Heck, even if we PB by like 5 seconds, I'll be happy. It ain't a meme PB of like, one second. I just don't want it to be a one second PB. That is all. A Kappa, yeah exactly, stick. Needs to be a wee bit careful I don't just drop like, Kappa like that. Yeah, what's up, Trip? That's kind of weird, champ. <laughs> I was a bit too close to the wall there, I didn't want to chew to run across it. Shame I died. Yeah, we say yeah, we don't we don't save warp here because master quests master quest save warps are like disgustingly slow. <laughs> if you're on VC, it's probably faster just to save warp there. Because let's face it, VC save warps are like broken, especially for master quests. They were faster than vanilla. I should just tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> Because on Master Quest VC, you didn't get the prompt that said you need a classic controller from memory. Or if you did, it was either you didn't get that prompt or you didn't get the N64 spinny logo. You didn't get one of those. And it was just like, Nani. Fuck. I can't remember which one it was that you didn't get, but you didn't get one of them and it sped things up like so much. Imagine if you didn't get both of them. Oh my goodness, you just fly through. Oh yeah, trip. Hell yeah. Alright, one extra pause during that entire exchange, so it's not too bad. And we actually managed to buffer a frame on GameCube. What a miracle. <laughs> oh, let's go, Trip. Retro Tinks are really good pieces of hardware, Trip. The one thing you may need to watch out for is I had to get one of these little devices where you're able to like change the volume from like AV signal inputs. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll let you know. Because sometimes I hear like this audio crackly audio crackling from the N64 when I use the Tink. And I remember getting one of those, like, mitigate the issue. I think it was just a voltage regulator. Yeah, you plug the N64 volume into that, and then output that to the Tink, and then you're able to control, like, the volume so it's not as crackly. I'll let you know the details though. Yo, Sam! <sighs> 41 months, matey! Sam, thank you so much, dude. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the 41 months. You're an absolute legend. How's things, Sam? Hope you're doing well, my man.
One extra pause there. Only one second, as long as I don't screw up DC and end game, I think we'll be okay. And make remember, don't take that platform wide. Don't take that platform wide. Take it, as in like, don't take it too on the corner. I took it on the corner last time and I missed it. I say go for a trip, hell yeah. With like SRM and stuff. Does it really? Ooh. I'd say it's worth. Wow. He's already done a run with the trip? Holy crap. Yeah. RTA the machine. It, it is a little bit scary, Spook, which is why I went quiet for a sec. Like, screwing up that ISG has killed legit so many of my runs. Like, he would not believe, my good man. I really need to start looking at SRM stuff, Trip. Might be time for me to visit, revisit some categories as well. Like, Ganonless, for example. I'm keen to see what Ganonless looks like now. Like, I need to watch the Zoots run. Is that pot SRM thingy set up difficult? Like, the, the one they're using Ganonless, or it's not too bad? But yeah, Spoof, that room is a little bit tricky. That's, this whole DC is actually quite hard to do. Yeah, the Goron City one. I think that's the one that they uh, do for, um, for Ganonless. Yeah, Spoof, it's hard to make those cycles with the pillars. Like, you got to move, like, pretty quick to make them. Ooh, we almost gold with that too. Alright, as long as we don't screw up these two super slides, uh, we could probably snag ourselves a pretty nice PB. Oh, if we can get a sub 3410, that would be pretty pog. But e either way, I'd be pretty happy with whatever the result is. Well, can't, can't speak too early, guys. We haven't finished the run yet. Anything could still go horribly wrong, but touch wood not. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh man. Java's run is a 3407 on VC. Could you imagine if I got a 3406? <laughs> I would have second place on GameCube, boys. <laughs> oh, could you imagine the possibilities? Ah, oh, it's fine. Either way. It, yes, absolutely, Sam. I remember one of my old runs, I pulled the bomb like super early for the back, for both backwalk super slides. I don't know if I'm willing to risk it now. Like I pulled it on the drop here. Probably wasn't optimal super slide angle because I cut that really close. I was actually really scared I'd hit like I'd fall into the water. But I was like, I like that's why I sealed over to the side a little bit before I started back walking for the second one. I think we're gonna PB trip. As long as my game doesn't crash or I don't miss Ocarina. Yeah, hopefully it'll give you <laughs> hopefully it'll give you a good challenge to run against Apple Babble. I'll upload my splits and everything, so if you want if you want something to like reference. <laughs> Zelda with the intense throwing arm. Like honestly, what 10-year-old could peg that far? <laughs> hey worship, what's up, buddy? Yeah, thanks, Sam. I'm just happy we got GameCube world record. But now we're going to be pushing it like even lower. I don't think I have the motivation to go for a 33. I'd have to push this run like even further, which... I could probably do, but I'd be playing really close to SOB. In a 34 minute run, I'd have like about 20 seconds to spare. And there are so many things that are against my... Con there are so many things that are out of my control, like the rupee game, like how the, the Zora pegs the rupees. Like, I can't control that. I know we could have saved a little bit of time in Deku Tree, that's for sure. We had one too many pauses in Deku Tree. Yeah, I reckon I need to pick up Glitchless. Um trip and then maybe come back to this at some point just little bits just little bits and pieces like that Habble yeah absolutely what okay I'll take it normally if you just tap if you just mash a you grab ocarina I'm surprised that didn't work. Wow. I guess you have to be really over it in order to have the mache work, but that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take a 34-12. Let's go. Hell yeah. Not the sub 34-10 that I was hoping for. That could have been sub 34-10 if I didn't scrub the ocarina dive. With, uh, ironically, ocarina dive. Um, but no, this is actually pretty dope. I'm happy. Hell yeah. 3412 MQCD. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Now I can actually say I'm happy to put this category down for a bit. Yo, what's up, Blue? 
yeah, I'm happy to put this category down for a while. I think I've pushed myself pretty far with this. I mean, we've been at this category for like, what, less than a month, I'd say? And we've already beat my VCPB, gotten a uh, GameCube world record, and pushed it down more. I was happy about the pushing down more. Um, uh, I'm not sh Touchdown! Thanks, boys and girls. I'm just thinking what to go back to next. I guess I could return to vanilla MST. I was kind of hoping to do more MQ stuff because I've kind of, I've got a, I've got like the muscle memory kind of familiar now. But I'll be honest with you guys. As much as I want to learn MQ stuff, I'm just not really feeling any of the categories. Hey, like not even glitchless. Maybe vanilla glitchless. I can go. In That's the problem, Sam. Those runs are long. Glitchless is even longer, but I was thinking maybe throughout the week we do like segmented runs. Like, you know, we'll do like, you know, glitchless child dungeons on Monday. Then we'll do like adult one runs on like Wednesday. And then like Thursday we'll do like, um, Thursday we'll, or something we'll do like, you know, child two to end speed runs. And then on the week.